Hi, I'm Vince from Two Weeks in a Hammock, and this is my uh, 2003 Lincoln Town car, and I'm uh, going canoeing tomorrow, and I don't have a truck, so I have to use this. Uh, over the years, I've uh, needed something like a truck for various things, uh, lumber for working on the fence, and on dressers and stuff. And, um, I couldn't find a roof rack for the Lincoln Town car. And a friend of mine said, you cannot make one. It's not designed to hold any weight at all. And don't do it. Don't try. Well, I did anyway. Um, uh, the spring broke in my garage door opener, and I had to have that replaced. So I told the guys to leave the rod that runs across the top of the garage door. And I use that to make this. So I have the uh, rod. It was a 16-foot uh, rod, a one-inch diameter. And I cut that down to size and ran it through a couple two-by-fours and put some uh, feet on it. And then the, the feet, I angled them and cut them with a compound miter saw to get the right angle in both directions uh, so that it fits the contour of the roof. And I padded underneath and on top with um, uh, the stuff that you would put in drawers, drawer liners uh, from tool chests. And uh, and I secure it to the car just with some um, ratchet straps. So I don't have it strapped down tight. Um, I took a bit of figuring out just exactly um, how tight to ratchet down those straps before I shut the doors. After you shut the doors, it causes additional tension. So once they're shut, it's not lifting up at all. So it's easy on, easy off. So I've used this rack for kayaks. Uh, tomorrow I'm using it for a canoe. I've used it for uh, furniture, like dressers and lumber for other projects. And it's been very handy and almost free. I think I just paid a couple bucks for the straps at um, Menards or Harbor Freight, something like that. And the lumber I had laying around and salvaged some poles from uh, the garage door opener and I wrapped the poles with um, insulation, pipe insulation. So that's it.